At a media-only press event, CES 2024, here are the best of showstoppers. The first thing that I saw is Air Things, which is here every single year, but this year, they are bringing Matter support to their products. So their existing View Plus air quality monitor will work with Matter as well as Apple Home, as will their new Renew Air Purifier. This thing looks very sleek. It's nice and lightweight, can be moved around, being face up or face down on the side. Uh, there's tons of filters built in here, including what I love, this massive layer of active carbon or charcoal. This is what's going to pull out a lot of the VOCs out of your air and help with things like smell if you have a lot of pets. There are all these easy controls here at the top to adjust it, or again, through Apple Home or any Matter-compatible ecosystem. Outside of air things, Mila is also showing off its latest air purifier, and it too will work with Apple HomeKit. For the longest time, I had seen these. They looked really nice. I like the appearance a lot. This like white, curvy exterior looks nice, and I love that it has even these wood legs on the bottom. It feels like a good high-end product, but now it will work with Apple HomeKit. There's a display here at the top, so you can see all the different information in your home, what mode it is on, adjust the fan speed, all of that, very super cool. I also love their approach to filters. It's not just a one-size-fit-all with filters. There's all these different ones, including one that is designed for pets that has things like ammonia in there that can help negate things like the smell of a cat. Now, this I've been dying to see in person. It is the Clix Keyboard Creator Case, uh, or the Clix Creator Keyboard Case, I guess, more along those lines. Uh, it comes in this fun bumblebee yellow, as well as a few other colors. There's a soft touch piece of faux leather on the back. It has passed through charging to your iPhone. In this case, it's an iPhone 14 Pro, so there's lightning there, and there's a lightning port on the bottom of the case. Other than that, it is a really slick piece of tech that I'm pretty excited to be trying out. It's going to launch for the 14 Pro with the iPhone 15 Pro in tow and the iPhone 15 Pro Max after that. Now, it is a full keyboard, so you have things like a command key and even a dedicated Siri slash voice assistant slash dictation button that you can employ as well. And I love how all the different keyboard shortcuts actually work just like they would on iOS or if you paired a full-size keyboard with it. So there's all these things you can do, like Command Spacebar will take you uh, to Spotlight Search, so you can open up an app or anything. Command H will take you back to the home screen, so you don't even have to swipe up. To go back to your home screen, just hit Command H. Uh, basically, again, any of those things work. Inside of Safari, Command T will open you up a new tab and let you keep moving that way. Just very, very smooth. For someone who wants to get things done with their phone, this is a great way to do it. Now, for me, one of the downsides is that it does not support Apple MagSafe. They say the case is thin enough that you'll still be able to use pass-through charging from Qi chargers or from MagSafe chargers, but it is not going to give you a strong enough hold to attach something like a MagSafe wallet or to put on a MagSafe stand. That may be a deal breaker for me, but especially here at CES, when I'm doing a ton of mobile stuff on my phone, I would have loved to have something like this to carry around for those situations. Just really bummed that we're not seeing MagSafe at least on the first version. There's like gray and yellow is the first few colors, so they're accepting feedback for what colors will come next. Sennheiser has its latest earbuds at CES. These are the Momentum Sport Buds, and they do very cool things. They have full health sensors in them that can monitor things like your heart rate, something that Apple has been rumored to do for years. I also really like the case they come in, which has a silicone hinge that will never be able to break on you. The earbuds themselves are a little bit chunky, but they actually seem very comfortable being worn, and they have these custom-fit silicone ear wings that go up into your ear to, again, make sure they stay very steady. They're meant to be in there while you're moving around, working out, so I do not think they're going to go anywhere. I love the green color, but the blue and black also look very cool. If you pair this with your Apple Watch, you can actually use them as heart rate monitors during a workout, so they'll actually work as heart rate monitors and all that data can sync back to Apple Health. So really, really interesting way of interfacing with these very excited, innovative headphones here from Sennheiser. It even supports IP55 water resistance, which is a high for Sennheiser, and they support Qi wireless charging. Utech has new Apple compatible locks. So there are two different versions that are certified with Apple Home. 
There is one that has a keypad around the edge there as well as a fingerprint reader. And then the second one is this Bolt NFC. The Bolt NFC version uh, has home key as well, but no fingerprint reader. So it's gonna be up to you which one you want. So do you want a fingerprint reader and keypad or do you want home key slash NFC as well as the keypad? So it's the fingerprint reader or home key that you have to decide between. Uh, but otherwise, they're standard locks. One year battery life, they say, with Wi-Fi connectivity. They work with Matter as well as Apple Home. So if, if uh, you know Apple Home is not your thing, there is fallback options, other ecosystems. Between the two, personally, I'm more excited for the Home Key version. I think Home Key works amazingly, even on your Apple Watch. Finally, Cricut. Now, technically, this launched at the end of last year, but this is the first time that I am seeing it in person, which is the Cricut Joy, uh, the newer one, so the Cricut Joy Extra. There was the Cricut Joy, which is like their low-end model. This is like a step up now that's a little bit wider, can do a little bit more. Then they have like the Maker, the Explore, Cricut Joy Extra, and then there's the Cricut Joy, which is not on display here. I think this is a very nicely sized machine. Do everything you want. If you are not familiar with Cricut, if you see it on Etsy, it's probably made with a Cricut. Uh, there's all sorts of smart vinyl. There is iron on vinyl. You can make cards, bunches of things. On the professional kind of side, small business side, there is this monster, which also launched late last year, uh, and this has like 12 feet rolls that you can do, priced more like a grant, but still super cool from Cricut.